Night myopia is when vision becomes more nearsighted in dim illumination relative to bright daylight. And this affects about one-sixth of the driving age population. And it also might be significant regarding traffic safety because those who show night myopia are also apparently more likely to be involved in nighttime accidents. And there are several optical and perceptual reasons behind night myopia, like spherical aberration and pupil size, but there is one factor which might be relevant to lighting design, and that's what I would like to discuss here. And the, relation, the relationship between the spatial configuration of the light stimulus and night myopia was first shown by this paper 10 years ago. And what they did was that they measured the optimal uh, refractive state, so how far the eyes would ideally like to focus in depth with uh, a letter chart stimulus versus a tiny LED light source. And of course these two stimuli are, are very different, so there are all kinds of controls which could be done. They try to control for the basics, um, and I think it's a decent study, so it's worth looking at. There could be all kinds of follow-up experiments to this, and unfortunately in these 10 years mm, nobody has really uh, carried on with this kind of research, according to the papers which cite this one. Um, which would be great to see and also to discuss this relative to lighting but again this paper on its own is I think meaningful and so let's look at what they found they tested emetropic uh, people so people who basically had good vision by default and indeed there was a myopic shift uh, a shift towards more becoming more nearsighted with the LED stimulus versus the letter chart and the size of the shift was 0.91 diopters, which is quite a lot. Now, uh, night myopia can be even larger in the effect size, but here again they just tested one factor behind it, which is the spatial configuration of the light stimulus. So if they did, if they applied their controls properly, then all this effect was due to how the light was spatially configured in one stimulus versus the other. And that's where the relevance comes to lighting, because we see that to, today the trend is towards smaller and smaller and always brighter lamps on cars and other vehicles and street lamps and everywhere. And we know for several perceptual factors that this is not advantageous, because these stimuli carry very little information regarding the identity of the object and also its spatial location in depth and thereby its velocity. So we would be much better off with large luminous surfaces, which is less bright. So they would cause less glare, yet they would carry more useful information in traffic. And night myopia is yet one more factor to show that the trends today in the direction towards smaller lamps is not the best that we can do for traffic safety and that's why I wanted to briefly show this paper here.